Hello, hope you're in fine voice. Now, I've just found out there's a new version of Audacity around, Audacity 3.2, released at the end of September 2022. Uh, it's now early October, and I've taken a look at it, and there's a couple of changes I think will impact us uh, as far as voice acting is concerned. And it's more in the way that it looks and how you get your mic to work uh, on the uh, on the platform. Uh, some other changes, I think one of the main ones that they're flag waving about is the real real time effects. And uh, that gives us great flexibility to use plugins like DSs and so on and processing VST plugins. Um, that's something maybe we can cover in the future. But for the time being, I think you might like to know a little bit more about how to get your mic to work and your speakers to work with this new version of Audacity. So let's take a look. On the face of it, it looks pretty similar to the old versions of Audacity. On this left-hand side, we've got the usual DVD type controls where you've got a pause button, play, stop, rewind, fast forward and the record button, the red dot. You've got a looping feature here so you can play the same thing over and over again if you so wish. And the usual controls here uh, allowing you to do your edits properly. But it's over here I think where the major change is. So we've got, if we just look here, we've got this audio setup instead of the usual icons that allowed you to select your built-in mic or your external microphone device if needs be. So let's just press the down arrow and you've got these options now. And what we're concerned with really is recording device. That's what you want to start with. So recording device, well, we don't want the built-in microphone. So it gives me these options really, Steinberg UR12, that's the interface I'm using. That's the one you can hear right now. And it's what I'm using for my recordings. And then I've got a couple of options that I've used previously, a camera microphone and a Zoom audio device. But in this case, I want the Steinberg UR12. I certainly don't want the built-in microphone because that would sound absolutely dreadful. So sometimes when you're setting up, it defaults automatically to that. And that's why your sound is will sound awful when you first have it, when you first get set up, because you're listening to the built-in mic, not your external device. In your case, it may be a Blue Yeti, it may be a Focusrite, it may be any kind of USB device or, or external interface that you've got plugging into your recording device. So that's the main thing. And then you've got playback, built-in output. That's what I want. I don't want to play it through my interface. I want to have it through my speakers, and that's what I've selected. I'm using a Mac, but if you're using a Windows device, Windows 10 or, or I think there's 11 now or 7 or whatever, you want to make sure that it's selected, your playback is selected to speakers, not to your microphone or interface. You don't want to play it through that. You want to play it, the playback through your speakers. So it's very important to get those set up. And then the final one, I'd say just recording channels. You've got the option of mono or stereo, but in voiceovers, really, we use mono. We use a single track. Make sure that is set to mono. And then just over here, we have these controls here, which will allow you to select your microphone volume and your speaker volume. And you may find that they're down here when you start um, sometimes it, it kind of defaults down there, depending on your device. Make sure they're turned up to full, so to zero here and here. And then you should get your sound through and you should be able to record properly as well and listen back properly too. So I think that's the major change that impacts us directly as voiceover artists who are recording from home. 